A lot of people have asked that I share my teaching on end times on my YouTube channel. Today's teaching is a part of a 25 lesson series. Listen carefully because Jesus is soon to come. Revelation 3, 7 through 10 reads, And the, to the angel of the church in Philadelphia write these things, saith he that is holy, he that is true, he that hath the key of David, he that openeth and no man shutteth, and shutteth and no man openeth. I know thy works. Behold, I have set before thee an open door, and no man can shut it, for thou hast a little strength, and hast kept my word, and hast not denied my name. Behold, I will make them of the synagogue of Satan, which say they are Jews, and are not, but do lie. Behold, I will make them to come and worship before thy feet, and to know that I have loved thee. Because thou hast kept the word of my patience, I also will keep thee from the hour of temptation, which shall come upon all the world to try them that dwell upon the earth. Yesterday, we learned that Jesus commended only two of the seven churches of Asia Minor. One church was Smyrna, the other is Philadelphia. Philadelphia was a church that was obedient to the word of God. They resisted the enemy, even those who had infiltrated the church. This church was war weary, meaning that they were actively resisting the devil through spiritual warfare. And because of their faithfulness to God, Jesus promised to keep them from the hour of temptation, which shall come upon all the world. This church is unique in that it would not see trials that would come. Jesus did not use the word tribulation or the tribulation period. The trials that he spoke of here were most likely what he described in Matthew 24, 8 as the beginning of sorrows. We are beginning to see what Jesus described as the beginning of sorrows. War, famine, pestilence, earthquakes are the hallmarks of this period. We are here. The large amount of saints transitioning from earth to paradise may just be because of this promise made by Christ. It is not judgment as many have said, but rather rest from their labors. Let us pray. Dear Lord, we thank you. We thank you for your Holy Spirit. We thank you that you are a God who knows each of us and loves each of us and who is with each of us. Lord, we ask right now that if there is anything in us that would displease you so that we could not do those things, that you desire of your people, we ask right now that you take it away. And Lord, let the words of our mouths and the meditations of our hearts be acceptable in thy sight. O oh Lord, our strength and our redeemer, in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. If you have enjoyed this devotion, Please like and subscribe. God bless you.